is tight, as it is for many of us at the moment. It can be tempting to do your shopping at an out-of-town superstore where there'd be lots of special offers. Because of that, many of our high streets are having a particularly tough time right now. And this week on Breakfast, we've been looking at how communities are fighting back, trying to get us to think local. Today, Mariam Mashiri is in Shropshire for us. Mariam. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Bill. Yes, I'm here in North Shropshire in the town of Oswest Street. Now, this town, like many others across the country, has suffered uh, thanks to the economic downturn. Businesses have been closing, but unlike many other towns, it's been doing something about it. It's created a loyalty card scheme, a not-profit organisation called Shop Local, together with the council, have created this loyalty card here and here is how it works. You pay £2.50 for the loyalty card if you're a customer going into a local shop. The local business will pay £60 a year to be a member of the scheme. And generally, if you're going to the shop and using the card to buy products or services, you could get a discount on average of around 10%. I went along to find out exactly how it works in practice. Morning. Lisa Bishop has come to her local butchers looking for a bargain. Four of the lamb chops, please. She signed up to the loyalty scheme aimed at getting more people to shop locally. I've got one of these um, shop local discount cards. Do I get some discount? Yeah, you get 10%. Fantastic. There we go. The scheme, which runs in the five market towns of North Shropshire, gives members like Lisa a discount at businesses which sign up. It gives you a little bit of discount off, which at the moment is, is great. Um, and I think the shopkeepers are trying to get involved with the scheme, and that shows me that they want my business. It seemed like a good way to, uh, to get to improve our business and uh, get our, our message out and trying to keep people shopping locally. The loyalty card scheme may work for some people and businesses here in Oswestry, Street, but is it enough to get people reaching for their wallets during a recession? I think we've got to support the small shops, especially in here in Oswestry, Street, or else we're going to lose every shop we've got. I just don't use them. <laughs> Simple as that. I um, mean, £2.50 isn't a lot of money. It's part of beer, basically. So it's a possibility I would, yes, yeah. Particularly for local, you know, local business as well. A little bit off here and there, all mounts up. But not all businesses have benefited from the scheme. Howard Jones was forced to close the retail side of his Oswestry wine store last week, though the wholesale business remains open. But over the last 12 months, our retail sales had really slowed down. Quality and fine wine sales had started to decline, and the retail side simply wasn't viable as a standalone operation. The economic downturn has meant an increased interest in the scheme and the woman behind it believes it helps shoppers and retailers alike. This is all about helping to keep people shopping locally, using business to business and if they can offer some sort of discount incentive, that's what it's all about. Well then, nice. how much are they? It's 6 that one. So, as Lisa continues her Great. day's that's shopping, she hopes much. that by shopping locally, She's doing her bit to help both the community and herself. Here in Oswestry, Street, here in Oswestry Street over the last uh, few weeks at least, I've been told that one business per day has ended up closing down. Loyalty cards may not be for everyone, but this one has attracted 1,500 members. Around about 80, 85 businesses have become members too. North Yorkshire apparently uh, went with the scheme three weeks ago and South Shropshire is interested. So it does look like a loyalty card could maybe be coming to a town near you. I wonder, Kate, if one day they'll make loyalty cards for men. <laughs> It'll be good, wouldn't it? It'll make a change. It's <laughs> a good point. Well made, Mary. A lot of people also texting and emailing saying, well, actually, car parking prices can be prohibitive um, when the local councils put them mm. up. So that's another point. Okay, your time. 21.